Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on performing the sign test using SPSS. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the data editor an SPSS fictitious data I'll be using for this example. I have two variables. One is named score. And let's assume these scores are generated from a depression inventory. I have 40 records here. And then I have another variable named median and all the values here are set to 50. The sign test is a non-parametric alternative to the one sample t-test and the paired samples t-test. In this example, I'll be using it as a non-parametric alternative to the one sample t-test. So we have the score variable and we have a population mean and a population median. Of course, the population median is recorded here. Normally, with data configured as I have them here, particularly this score variable, we would use a one sample t-test and compare these scores to a population mean. However, in this instance, let's assume that we have violated an assumption for performing the one sample t-test. For example, we could say that these data are not normally distributed and therefore violate the normal distribution assumption for a one sample t-test. In this instance we could use a non-parametric alternative like the sign test. However, we wouldn't be using a population mean, we'd be using a population median. So for this depression inventory, we'll assume that the population median is 50. So we're comparing these scores in the score variable to the population median of the depression inventory. So to perform the sign test, I'm going to use a few different methods. Under Analyze, non-parametric tests, one way to run the sign test is from this Related Samples menu selection. Another way is from Legacy Dialogs to Related Samples. So the first example I'll use related samples. Click here and you can see we have an objective fields and settings tab up top. I'm just going to go to the fields tab. I'm going to move over score and median. Both variables I have here in the data set. Under settings by default automatically choose the test based on data is selected. I'm going to move to customize tests and then this frame in the top right, compare median difference to hypothesized. I'm going to select the sign test, two samples. Click run, the bottom left, and we can see the output from the sign test. We have the null hypothesis, the median of differences between score and median equals zero. The test, of course, is the related sample sign test. The p-value, 0.041, less than an alpha of 0.05. You can see here the significance level is 0.05. Therefore, the decision reject the null hypothesis. So in this instance, because we have a p-value less than 0.05, we would reject the null hypothesis that the median of differences between score and median equals zero. Moving back to analyze, taking a look at the other method for running a sign test. Two related samples. Here under non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues. And here's the dialog as it is by default. And I'm going to move score into variable one and median into variable two. The test type in this frame to the bottom here we have Wilcoxon, Sign, and McNamara available. I'm going to uncheck Wilcoxon and check off Sign. No changes under Options. Let's click OK. And we can see under Frequencies, under this table, we have Median Score, Negative Differences, there's 5. Positive Differences, there's 15. And there was 20 ties between the Score variable and the Median variable. So 20 of the scores in the score variable were equal to 50. 
Moving down to the test statistics table, we can see that the test statistic used here is the sign test. The p-value here, 0 0.041. Again, it's the same p-value we saw here with this other output, which is formatted differently. Same value, just different format, 0 0.041. So, of course, again, we would reject the null hypothesis with the alpha set at 0 0.05. I hope you found this video on performing a sign test in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.